Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you balance this equation where we have K2SO4 that is a potassium sulfate on the potassium sulfate and calcium iodide on the reactant side and we have CaSO4 and Ki on the product side. So to balance this equation I am going to count the number of atoms on both reactant and product side. Here we have two atoms of potassium, we have one uh, sulfate uh, atom, we have one sulfate molecule. So I am going to add this and then I have one calcium atom and two iodine atoms. So basically this is a displacement a reaction as you can see that uh, the SO4, the sulfate uh, group is then reacting with the calcium to fo form this compound. So this is basically a displacement reaction and after knowing the numbers of atoms on reactant side I am going to count the number of atoms on the product side. So I have one potassium atom on the product side, one sulfate group one calcium atom and one iodine atom on the product side. So as you can see we have two atoms of potassium and two atoms of iodine on the reactant side but we do not have the same numbers on the product side for these two atoms at least. So all you need to do is add a coefficient 2 before Ki and see it is done because we have two atoms of potassium and two atoms of iodine on the product side as well. So this is a very simple reaction and this is a very simple way to balance this reaction. I hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.